This year I started using Real Science Odyssey's Astronomy and I want to let you know how it's going for my family with a third, second, and kindergartner and also give you a quick peek inside. Odyssey stands for Read, Explore, Absorb, and Learn. This is their level one series for grades one through four. So this year I started using it. I love that it is family friendly because again, for grades one through four, even though I have a kindergartner, he's able to kind of jump in and I just modify a few of the worksheets for him, but we're able to still do it as a family. And that's always my goal with science and history is something that we can all learn together. It is a secular curriculum by the company Pandia Press. Now, Pandia Press also gives us History Quest. If you want to see my review on History Quest, you can check that out in the description below. This curriculum covers a wide range of astronomy topics, including the solar system, space, physics of light, space travel, cosmology, scientific modeling, universe, and gravity. So we have not finished this yet, but we are quite a ways through, and it's very hands-on and it's very um, lab based. So every, there's going to be several labs. So there are a lot of materials that are required and I'll show you when we look inside the material list. So you can kind of get an idea of what you may need if you choose this curriculum for your family. But once you gather all of the materials, it's fairly open and go. To use this curriculum, the only book you're going to need to get is the astronomy book. This is the teacher's guide and all of the student pages all in one. So if you have just one student, like you can see the student pages have this outline, um, you can go, you know, have them read it, you can make copies of it, you can, um, you can even tear it out, it is perforated. So if you have just one student, you can just tear out the pages. If you have multiple students, you will want to consider um, getting a separate workbook for them. I had this pre-printed out because they have workbook options available on their website where you can get just the student pages. So I had this pre-printed out for all three of my kiddos, and then I just left this part intact, um, just in case I wanted to make an extra copy or needed, you know, something that they messed up on in this book. The structure of this curriculum is based off of an 18-week schedule if you are doing science two days a week. So I loved that when I saw this, it was two days a week. I'm like, I can do that. I can get that implemented. Um, and then also, you know, this is only 18 weeks. So this is only expected to last a semester. I am making it kind of go through the whole year. Um, I also did purchase, so this is their astronomy. I also got the life science and then the earth and environment books. Um, I purchased them all at the same time. Not quite sure which one I wanted to use or if I wanted to mix and match. But because of the student workbooks, I did decide to just stick with one, but we're just gonna kind of go through it um, a little bit slower, really dive into it, and I'm adding in extra YouTube videos and things to really solidify their learning. I did wanna note that this curriculum has created their own Facebook group, which is super helpful to go in and ask questions and see other people. They'll post pictures of the experiments they're doing or give tips and tricks. So I did like that it had a well um, kept up Facebook group that I could join and kind of get inspiration from other people using the same curriculum. All right, so let me grab the book and we'll take a look inside. All right, so here's a quick look at astronomy level one for grades one through four. So if we open it up here, here is the table of contents. So what's inside here? So it goes over all of the different things, including all of the labs. And then it continues on the next page. And then it does give a little bit about the author. Moving into kind of an introduction and then getting started. So, you know, have fun. That's number one. I always love when that's <laughs> included because that's very important in our household. Um, the unique pages, so it has, you'll see as we go through, there's going to be for my notebook pages and then lab sheets and instructor pages. So there's different types of pages all in this one book. So if you, you don't really need to get something else. Um, and then it does talk about there's a difference between like the big idea and the small stuff and what the whole point that you want um, your kid to get and then everything else is just kind of like extra. So I like that they say that for all of the different um, categories that they learn about, um, what they really are trying to get them to get out of it. And then they do include a lab supply list for all of the activities. So if you wanted to look ahead and make sure you had everything, 
Um, again, it, this curriculum is pretty open and go friendly, but when <laughs> with everything with science, if you don't have the materials or you don't look ahead, um, it can be very hard. So you wanna make sure you're looking ahead and get everything you need. Next is the suggested weekly schedule. So you can see here's the week, so week one, week two, week three, and then each day. So it does suggest a two day um, a week schedule. So you could do this faster or slower. Um, and so it goes over 18 weeks. So this one book will last you about a um, 18 weeks or one semester. So it also includes further reading and exploring, not required, but if you um, wanted to look through your local library or see if you have these books, um, these are some recommended readings and then also some extra web suggestions. So then we go in and here are some student pages. So you'll notice all of the student pages have these black border. So this actually goes into each student's notebook. Um, and then here's a little bit more from the student page. And then it has a light lab and these are the teacher instructions. So it kind of shows you what to expect. Here's the answers for more. And then it goes back into another student, um, student page and then the lab instructions. So it kind of just goes through that, another student page, a lab, um, another student page and a lab. And so just kind of, it's very hands, um, like they really want to use labs to kind of help um, give you the material. Yes, the student pages and the readings will explain things, but it's the labs where they're really trying to show the students how and why things work the way they do. So one option you do have, so you can just buy this book and make copies of all the student pages as you go if you wanted to, or they do have the option to order the student pages. So what I did was I ordered the student pages and had them bound by Humble Heart Press. I'll leave a link to them in below. It was not as expensive, not as expensive as I thought it would be, um, and it comes with like this little cover. So I did this and it got bound. I did this for all of my kiddos, just so I would have it done at the very beginning of the year, um, and it just got printed. So only the student pages are in here. You don't see any of those labs or lights. You can see my kiddos. We've been doing some of these, um, and we skipped over a few, but so here's those light labs. And so that's just a quick look at everything we viewed in the other book, but just having it in the student workbook especially since I have multiple children, this has been super helpful, just having each of them to have their own book. I don't have to go and make copies each week. It's already done. I don't have to worry about it. And that's what I really love about the student pages. Overall, I have been loving this curriculum. Yes, it does have a lot of materials, but I did look through a lot of them I already had on hand. I did have to find, buy a few things, like we didn't have a compass or um, there was some like, film, like not tissue paper, but there was a cellophane that I needed to get for an experiment. So I went ahead and just ordered all of that on Amazon and had it shipped at the very beginning of the year. So I had it and was ready to go whenever we came across that experiment. But again, with anything science related, it the good ones are the hands-on with lots of labs. And that's what this curriculum has. So it's not as open and go friendly because of the labs, but I'd rather them I'd rather have to do a little extra work and prep to get the labs going than them just filling out a bunch of worksheets. The only downside I have really come across in this curriculum isn't necessarily the curriculum's fault because it is for this grades one through four, um, but I just like it when they're given more information. For example, when we were learning about the speed of light, um, nowhere in the actual student text does it tell us how fast the speed of light is. And I know it's this crazy like number with letters and everything. So it could be very confusing. Uh, but that was like the first thing my husband asked us. So how fast is the speed of light? And they're like, I don't know, it's just fast. Um, but again, so that's something that like my husband and I are constantly looking for in science curriculum is not over simplifying it, but really exposing them to certain things like how fast is it? in showing them the equation of the speed of light and saying, you know, this is something you will learn one day. Um, so again, not really the curriculum's fault. I can easily look that up with a YouTube video, which we actually did. I think it was a Veritasium video we looked at about the speed of light. I don't know, I'll link that down below if you're interested. It was interesting for me. And I know a lot of that content went over, especially my kindergartner's head, 
but just having them introduced all the vocabulary and just have listening to somebody else going through this process, they were still very interested in the video. They just didn't quite understand everything. But again, everything in learning is about exposure. So if you expose them to certain things, then they are the next time they learn about it, they're more likely to understand it a little bit better. And lastly, with any curriculum, if you feel like it doesn't quite meet your needs, you can always supplement with other activities. Again, there's so many different science crates you can incorporate like KiwiCo. I'll put a link to them down below. And then just other YouTube channels. I'll put a link to my 10 favorite YouTube channels. Um, they're not all science related, but I will put a link because there are a lot like Mark Rober. There just there's so many good science channels out there to get kids excited about science and makes it a little more interesting, even if you don't have time to do every single lab. All right, so do you have any other questions about this astronomy curriculum? If so, leave those in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.